How can you have a pure heart? Let's talk about that. First, of course, let's pray. God, thank you so much for your love. Thank you that you're the one who um, cleanses us and gives us forgiveness in Jesus. And I just pray that we would all do that, that we would all trust in Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's read the Bible. Our readings today are from Matthew 5, Psalms 24 and 51, 2 Timothy 2, and Hebrews 10. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not appealed to what is false, and who has not sworn deceitfully. He will receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. God, create a clean heart for me and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Flee from youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. Therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have boldness to enter the sanctuary through the blood of Jesus, he has inaugurated for us a new and living way through the curtain, that is, through his flesh. And since we have a great high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience, and our bodies washed in pure water. The only way any of us can see God, being in his presence, that is, is if we have a heart sprinkled clean by the blood of Jesus. God is the one who makes hearts pure. He cleanses us from all unrighteousness so that we can go and be with him forever. So our encouragement is very simple. Trust in Jesus. Trust in what Jesus did for you and allow him to cleanse you from the inside out. God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow.